good evening to all my topic is cornea ring segment indication and complication cornea ring segment are small curvilinear segment that are implanted in the intrastomal channels and this channel can be created either by manual or with femtosecond laser it improves visual refractive and keratomatic outcome Coming to CRS, can be synthetic segment made up of PMMA. It is known as ICRS, and can be allogenic segment made from donor cornea, known as KS. Based on different designs, it can be ICRS can be index, index SK, Ferrara ring, Kera ring, or Mayo ring. Uh, how it acts? It creates an arc shortening effect on the cornea. It causes the increased stress on the central cornea. Through this, it flatten and regulates the cornea. Coming to indi indication, it it can be used in the treatment of mild to moderate keratoconus with central clear cornea, average keratometry reading of less than 53 diopter, and minimum corneal thickness of 400 micron at the site of implantation and contact and intolerance. It can also be used in the progressive treatment of progressive keratoconus along with CCR. This is the uh, case, uh, case of left index surgery done in our hospital. Here we can see the improvement of visual acuity and manifest refraction post-operatively. This is the pre-op pentagram and this is the post-op pentagram. And this, this we can give the improvement in the corneal curvature. Steep K2 was 54.6 pre-op and it will reduce to 50.7 diopter uh, post-operatively. Another indication, it can be treatment in the postlatic ectasia with the loss of two or more lines of uh, BCVA and with the grade 4 ectasia. Apart from this indication, case can also be used to, in, uh, to treat melt migration, extrusion and intrusion secondary to ICR. In myopia, it is were initially designed to correct dogmatic myopia, but the use of it has faded now. But uh, FDA has improved, approved use of it for the reduction of minus 1 to minus 3 diopter myopia with the astigmatinus of plus 1. Other uses are form first to keratoconus and thin corneas with the up to minus 3 diopter. Then coming to contraindication, it should not be implanted in the keratoconus patient who can achieve functional vision with the contact lens, age less than 21 years of age, and do not have a clear central cornea and corneal thickness less than 450 micron. Other contraindication like a severe atopic disease, advanced keratoconus, and care reading more than 70 with the corneal opacity and hydros with the grade 1, 3, lasic atresia, pregnancy, and cataract. Coming to complication, complication. Cases are rare but still can happen. It, it can be interrupted. In relation to manual corneal channelization, there can be chance of uh, segment decentration, incomplete decented uh, created channels, and extension of the incision towards the central visual axis or towards the limbus, or endothelial perforation and false channel creation. Coming to post uh, complication, it can include several keratitis, deposits around the rings, and neovascularization of the cornea, and infiltrator infection. Others are epithelial defect at the keratotomy site, segment migration, as shown in the figure, uh, into uh, towards incision site or into anterior chamber, corneal melting, thinning, gaping of incision, erosion, haze, or focal edema. Another post of complication is the segment extrusion and leading to explantation of the segment. And this this image shows post explantation corneal scarring. And this is the most common post of complication. Came into case uh, here, uh, there will be no complication that are related to a synthetic material segment, and there will be lesser risk of overall complication like migration, extrusion, and intrusion. And this is the main advantage of the case over uh, ICRS. Thank you, ma'am. Now, over to the panel. Husna, uh, uh, nice presentation. Uh, so uh, uh, basically, you, you you're teaching us, right? So as a, uh, as a uh, student, I'm here and I'm I have some uh, uh, questions. Uh, see, so where exactly are you? Are, are we going to pay, uh, place this uh, ring segments? Actually, uh, they, uh, they are implanted in the preformed corne corneal. Intrastomal channels. These are uh, away from the cen uh, center of the pupil. That is five to six mm away from the pupil. We can insert uh, exact position. We uh, according to nomogram and patient topography. We can decide the exact position, number of segment like this, uh, and the uh, thickness of the segment. We can decide according to the nomogram. And uh, given a choice between uh, uh, manual. 
uh, uh, decision for uh, implanting it and uh, femto uh, mm. which uh, uh, which would uh, uh, which should i prefer um in mechanical uh, we can do both but but in mechanical creation uh, the, there will be more complications so femto second uh, laser assisted decision is uh, channel creation is more preferable because uh, through femto second assisted uh, laser creation we, uh, we can uh, create a channel more, with more precise and depth we can with more precisely we can create depth and complications are rare like uh, perforation Uh, like uh, complication we can reduce the complication through femtosecond so femtosecond laser assisted is preferred thank you ma'am and sir what is your post op regimen what sir what is your post op regimen once you do this stromal uh, rings Uh, uh we can give uh, topical steroid antibiotic combination and uh, uh, we have to give uh, bandage contact lens for 2 uh, days and uh, uh, if patient complaint of uh, pain we can give analgesics also and after one week we can measure intraocular pressures in these patients once it's done is there any uh, different uh, we you will measure intraocular pressures will there be a change in intraocular pressure recording according to corneal thickness uh, through pentacam also we can get iop uh, we can, we have to uh, look uh, corneal uh, thickness also for accurate measurement you would want to use something like a tono pen and measure it in area away from the stromal ring after post op after yeah. post op yeah oh right uh, in post op period um that i am not sure good presentation uh dr husna just a couple of uh, points a uh, nice presentation and well covered uh, i hope i'm audible right yes sir you are ah, audible, audible sir yeah dr saptigrisha yeah hi uh, see the thing is uh, when you're presenting uh, uh, a topic uh, just try to keep the content on the slide little less uh, because there's so much uh, data on your slides that i we get confused try to read what is there so if you put okay. maybe four of not more than four or five lines for presentation okay Mm -hmm. it will be easy on the eye and it will be easy for us to read also okay, okay sir so as you're okay, teaching sir. us something as uh, shrini told we are a student so we are trying to okay. understand what you trying to say so if there's too mm -hmm. much text i don't know what to read right okay so if you put okay. four five lines it's easier for me to read and i can hear you say also okay sir okay, okay. good you finish on time also nice Very okay nice. good thank you sir Okay. Good presentation, Doctor Husna, uh, and uh, nicely you have covered everything within the time. Good presentation. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.